CO2 is awesome. It is the basis of all life on Earth and is 100% natural. CO2 is part of the circle of life. We breathe it out and plants breathe it in. Lots of people are throwing rocks at the wonderful little CO2 molecule these days. It seems they've forgotten that without it, we would all be dead. Without CO2, our planet would literally be barren and lifeless. But with just a few hundred parts per million of CO2 in our atmosphere and in our ocean, life thrives. Amazing! But how can that be? Simply put, plants need CO2, water, the sun, and key nutrients and enzymes to grow and survive. Using the energy of the sun, plants use the miracle of photosynthesis to turn CO2 and H2O into sugar and oxygen and to biosynthesize organic polymers such as cellulose and lignin. If CO2 levels ever fall below about 150 parts per million, plants will die and humans won't be far behind. Well, what happens when CO2 levels rise to the 400 parts per million we're at today? Plants grow even faster and they absorb more CO2. In fact, we need to ensure that CO2 levels stay high enough to support healthy plant life even when the next glacial maximum takes hold in a few thousand years. Industrial greenhouses understand this very well. They often pump up the levels of CO2 in their greenhouses to 1,200 parts per million to help plants grow more quickly. That's three times more than our current atmospheric levels. So the next time somebody tells you how bad CO2 is, remind them that without it, we would all die. And remind them that they had to breathe out CO2 to tell you how bad it is. I hope you liked what you saw. Please leave your comments down below, share it, and let's get a conversation going.